What up, guys? Oh, sad face because I ain't got no makeup on. All right. First things first, we're going to be moisturizing our face. This is key. No matter what type of skin you have, oily, dry combination, moisturize your face with clean hands after you're done washing your face. And since I am dry skin, I'm going to be going in with a more Pacific Moisture Bound Spray to give my face a little bit extra hydration. And brows. I debated keeping this in or not because, I mean, who wants to sit there and watch me create hair-like strokes all day? Not me, so we're just going to fast forward. All right, priming our face. We are going in with Hourglass's Primer Serum Base, and I love this stuff. It has some skincare benefits in it since it is a serum, but the finish is very similar to Benefits Professional in the sense that you have a nice smooth base to work with. All right, I just wanted to show you two quick options. This is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and MAC Face and Body. Both are very believable and have a flawless finish, but still natural for men. I'm gonna be going in with the MAC Face and Body today just so I can have a little more luminosity to my skin. So I'm just going to begin by buffing that in around my jawline, around the chin, and under the jawline. Do not forget to work this product up into your hairline. You never want to see where the foundation ends and where it begins. You want everything to move seamlessly across the face. Don't forget to blend down your neck. Everywhere, just blend, blend, blend. Time to conceal and highlight. I'm using NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm gonna be placing that under my eyes, on the center of my chin, and the center of my forehead. If you don't want to highlight, just stick to a concealer that is your skin tone, but it is the first day of school, so I'm going to be going in. Blend, blend, blend. When blending concealer under your eye, as you can see, I was dabbing and not rubbing and swiping back and forth. Swiping will just take off the product, and you really want to make sure you are pressing it into the skin so it doesn't settle in your fine lines. Now I'm just going to be setting all of that concealer with some translucent powder. And I'm going to be using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to tap it in the other areas that we put that highlight just to set it. Oh, hey, camera. All right, I'm going to be bronzing up the face and adding some warmth. This is Makeup Forever's Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade Soft Iridescent Caramel. And I'm applying that with a Morphe MB5 brush. I love this brush. It doesn't take no time at all to buff that out. It's flawless application. This bronzer is really going to help add some dimension back into the face and help balance it out with that highlight. Starbucks break. That was much needed. Alright, probably my favorite part of doing my makeup is highlighting. I am highlighter obsessed. I'm going to be using Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Topaz, and I am applying that with another Morphe brush that is the fan brush in what is the number S17. So I'm placing on all the high points the tops of my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, the chin, and dabbing a, li a little bit on the tip of my nose and blending that out. Yes, do you see that glow? Speaking of glow, I'll be hydrating my lips with some Dior lip glow. I was running out, so I had to use a little brush to apply it. And I'm going to be sealing my face in more hydration with the Moisture Bound Spray. And here's the final look. 